I'm going to show you how to configure a Cisco router interface. You need to configure an interface before you can communicate. And so here we have a router. So the Portland router right here is currently already configured with um, 192.168.0.1 with a slash 30 subnet. There is a crossover cable between the two routers and the Seattle router needs to be configured with 192.168.0.2 with a slash 30 network. So I am going to go ahead and configure those or configure the Seattle router. So here we have the Seattle router. I press enter and I get to user mode. I can type enable to then get into privilege mode. From here, I can look at my configurations with the show run command or show running configuration. I can see that my fast ethernet 01, which I'm going to configure, has no IP address and it currently is in shutdown. All right. Now I need to get into configuration mode. I can use configure terminal or conf T, so you can use shorthand. And from here, I can get into the interface with int fa0 slash 1. I first need to configure the IP address. So I type in IP address and the IP address I want to configure, which is 192.168.0.2. I have to put the mask in dotted decimal notation. I cannot use the CIDR notation. So I need to know the conversion. Slash 30 is 255.255.255.252. Put that in there. Then I need to turn off the shutdown. So I do no shutdown to disable shutdown. At this point, the interface should liven up and should start working. I can type either exit twice to get out of interface and out of configuration terminal or end to drop all the way down to privileged mode. So I type end and I'm down to privileged mode. I can now try pinging my own IP address, ping 192.168.0.2. This is successful. If it is not successful and you know you've configured the interface to be the correct IP address, then it's likely that either the cable is not in or something else is going on. Maybe the cable is bad. At this point, it's time to ping the other device. So I type ping 192.168.0.1 and I can ping the Seattle, uh, ping the Portland router. You'll notice right here it has an 80% success rate first one failed and then the other four made it through. If the first one fails, you can just ignore it. If the first two fail or first three fail, all that matters is at least one gets through. Cisco routers tend to have a very quick timeout on their ping commands to make sure that things are working properly and you'll see a lot of failures. You can also verify that the router is up using the show CDP neighbor command. And I can see that my Portland interface or the Portland router is connected to my fast ethernet 01 and its interface is fast ethernet 01. And there we go. We can see it's a router. And that's how you configure an IP address on an interface.